Hello YouTube, it's WaterKing363 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple RPG game. This is the first idea on the list, and there are five others to come. Uh, now what I have set up here right now is a level up door, a simple monster from Toolbox, uh, because I'm too lazy to make it myself, a weapon also from Toolbox, and a spawning point. What is going to happen is you're going to spawn, take the weapon, kill the monster, get a key, level up. Well, go through the door, progress to the next level. This is a simple RPG game, a dungeon, um, and you can make how many ever you'd like. Uh, there are many RPG games. If you have any ideas or you want to know more, just comment down in the comment list. So, for at, at the moment, we're going to make a key. So we're going to go up to workspace, insert, object, tool. Then you want to find a part, insert, object, then you want to find a part right here and you can make this however you like usually I make it the smallest it can be uh, make sure these are all smooth otherwise it will stick to the surface and there you go okay now the last major thing you need to do is put handle otherwise you may not be able to wield this item or actually you will not be able to uh, what I'm going to name this is the key and I'm going to store it in lighting so I can take it out later okay here we go now what I'm going to do is make the script for when he dies I get the key I can go ahead and insert the script inside the humanoid and I'm going to make a function it can't be anything I'm going to put die Uh, died. Uh, this is actually the event for when he dies. It is a humanoid event and a humanoid event only, I'm pretty sure. Unless you find something else out. And then I want to connect it to die. Uh, so when he dies, we want to run this bit of code, and when, he, when we run this bit of code, we want to clone my key. So it's going to be a variable. What a variable is, it can be anything, it can be any words. Uh, F was just the first thing I typed on my key. And that's how you use it. So after you've gotten that completed, uh, you want to make sure you put game dot lighting dot key, which you're trying to find, and you want to clone it. This is actually a function, and you must end it with your brackets. Clone means clone what I want to clone. Uh, now I'm going to put f dot parent, so I'm going to tell you what it tells me what uh, the clone's parent's going to be, and um, then it's going to send it to the workspace. So I'm going to put parent game dot workspace. Uh, this is the game, and this is the workspace. So once we found the workspace, we want to um make sure that uh it's positioned how we want to so we were going to do f dot handle because handle is in key and you cannot move the key physically you have to use the handle so dot position Uh, this will I can find the coordinates for this by doing this, doing this over here, and then I can just find the position right here. Let's go ahead and move it back now. Paste it, and as I said before, I like to put it a little bit higher. And now that I have all that, it's going to as soon as he dies, he would take the clone workspace position. Vector 3 means uh, three digits. That's pretty much it. And I've totally messed that up. Okay. Now, after that, I've killed him. I want to go through this door. So I'm going to go ahead and insert object script. What I'm going to do is make a function. Touch. And. And. Touch 
touched again. Okay, now you want to do, um, you want to make a variable player is equal to, and what you want to do is try to find if the key is nil or not. Nil means nothing, zero, zip, not. So what we're going to do is game dot players dot get player from character. And what this will do is get the player from character that hit the parent. And we're going to have to put argument in here. Like I said before, hit. Argument just means who we're dealing with. So, hits parent, who we're dealing with parent. And, um, and then we're going to make sure he has the key. So, if, and, and. So, if, uh, player player's backpack if player player's backpack there we go uh, has key and it's not equal to nil this means not equal to and nil is nothing again then if it's not equal to nothing then I want you to open the door for me so we're going to do script uh, parent dot uh, can collide is equal to false. That just means I can now go through the door. Um, but once I have this, I want to wait just to space it, and I want to put script dot parent dot transparent transparency is equal to uh point keeping at that and uh, else statement just in case if they do not have the key we're just going to print doesn't have key okay uh, that should work so let's go ahead and test it Output. Kill him. Here comes the key. Now that I have the key, and touch here, and function get player from character is not a member of model. Okay, I know what I did wrong there. That means I did not make it a function. So this needs to be here. Right, test it again and it will work. So this is a simple dungeon. Pick up the sword. Kill the monster. Get the key. Close the key. Touch it. And you've gone through. And then you can put multiple levels after this. More monsters. Harder levels. Anything. Anything you want. So that's how to make a simple RPG. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and see you later, YouTube.